Hey everyone, my name is Rustin. I work on the team here at Nodecraft, and today we are excited to officially reveal a project that we have been working on. For the past few months, we have been teaming up with the folks over at Overwolf to launch an application to allow you to control and see your server in game without breaking the experience. And in this video, I'm going to show it to you. To check this out for yourself, just go to overwolf.com and right here in the middle, you can click on browse app store. Click on the search icon here and type in Nodecraft. Once here, you are able to download the application. It will download and then prompt you whenever it is ready to be installed. We'll work through the installer here, read and accept the Overwolf's terms and privacy policy. Click next. Pretty simple, right? At this point, we are just going to launch the application. It may take a few seconds upon initial launch. So once we have the application up, we can close out of Overwolf. Once we see this screen, then we will just click login with Nodecraft. It will take us to our account. You'll have to allow the Overwolf application to access your account and the instances. Go ahead and hit accept. If this is your first interaction with Nodecraft, welcome. Feel free to go ahead and claim that free trial, no credit card required. Check it out for 24 hours, play some games with your friends, see if you enjoy the platform. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team at nodecraft.com forward slash support. For now, since I already have an account, I'm going to click skip and it will log me into my Nodecraft account within the application itself. So for purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to launch a quick uh, Minecraft server. We're gonna call it Overwolf Showcase. And we are just going to do vanilla. Create the instance and deploy it. Once it's deployed, you should be able to go back to your Overwolf application and see the new deployed instance here. Once it's deployed, we need to go ahead and start the server. So we'll open the instance. Hit start. Once the server is online, we will go to Minecraft. Once we're in game, the Overwolf application will automatically populate. So to connect to the server, we'll just go to multiplayer, direct connection, and it will detect that we are attempting to connect. So we'll copy the host name and paste it into this field here and hit join server. And that's it. So in the middle of recording this video, I may have sat still too long and died. But while we're here, I may as well show you some other cool things that you can do within the application. If you want to take a closer look at what's happening in your server, you can click on this panel button. Here you'll be able to see your console as well as resource consumption for your server. You can even hide the aspects of the console that may not be pertinent for you to see. So if we just click hide console, then we can minimize that. And then we can also show controls. Here you'll be able to stop, restart, or kill your server directly from the application as well. When it's not in use, go ahead and hide those. That way you can move this around and put it where it is minimally invasive. And if you're having issues, you can click on this customer support button, which will take you directly to our support page. At this point, it's a very basic application and we have plans to expand on it in the future. If you have any feedback or ideas that you would like us to implement within the application, please let us know that. If you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord server. We would love to have you there. If you enjoy the application and want to see more, please leave us a review on the Overwolf app store. It would help us out a lot. Otherwise, that is all for this video. We will see you in the next one.